Uh, please proceed, Mr. Westhead. Uh, thanks very much, Chair. Um, and I just want to mention I'm not a member of this committee, so I really want to thank my government colleagues for allowing me the opportunity to attend and ask questions uh, because it's so important to my constituency. I'll just jump right in here. We don't have much time. Uh, the Tourism Entrepreneurship Program uh, that the Ministry has launched recently is, is actually turning out to be a pretty popular tool. Uh, it's helping entrepreneurs start new tourism businesses and innovate and expand their existing operations. Um, specifically, I'm looking at page 73, uh, line item 7.3, which is labeled uh, policy and business development. Uh, there's an increase there, and I believe that this is going towards supporting the entrepreneurship program. Uh, you know, like I say, that's really great news, and it's generated a lot of interest in my constituency. Um, however, uh, line, line 7.4 on the same page shows a decrease in Travel Alberta's budget. Um, I've heard from tourism stakeholders in my constituency about this decrease, um, and quite frankly, they're concerned. Um, so they want to know uh, how this will impact marketing strategies and visitor numbers. Uh, thank you. So as I mentioned before, uh, Budget 2018 provides $56.4 in funding to support uh, and further grow Alberta as a destination, a premier destination for domestic and international uh, travelers while still providing exciting affordable vacation options for Alberta families. Um, our budget, budget commitment for tourism marketing and industry development remains among the top four in the country. Uh, the increase in budget uh, to this branch reflects our commitment to the tourism industry by increasing uh, important programs and services that are delivered, including those under the Tourism Entrepreneurship Program, which includes the recently launched uh, Tourism Entrepreneurship Startup Seminars. Uh, the seminar provides new and interesting and interested tourism entrepreneurs with business and tourism-specific information uh, that will support them in, uh, in their efforts to become more successful. Uh, to date, we've had seminars uh, which have been very well attended and positively, very positively reviewed. I've seen some of the results from these uh, uh, surveys uh, in Cold Lake, uh, February 7th, High Prairie, uh, Drumheller. Uh, in upcoming sessions include uh, Airdrie, April, April 12th, Peace River, April 12th as well, Jasper, and Strathcona County as well. Uh, and more sessions are being planned for 2018. Um, we are piloting the uh, industry, the tourism industry business retention uh, and expansion program in partnership with local communities as well. The program surveys the local uh, tourism companies uh, and related businesses to create a better understanding of, uh, uh, of the variety of, uh, of the assets in the communities themselves. Uh, this is followed by an engagement program with the community to introduce the variety uh, of services and research that we can offer. Uh, in 2017, for example, the department partnered with ATB uh, to introduce a tourism crowdfunding campaign and live stage event that encourages tourism entrepreneurs to test their businesses uh, and concepts, uh, their products, and raise money for their implementation. The 2017 uh, ATB Tourism Booster event, which took place in Banff immediately prior to the 2017 Alberta Industry uh, Conference um, was also very well received and well attended. Uh, the department will look to host uh, this event again in the 2018-19 uh, to further support uh, the tourism entrepreneurs sector. Um, advocacy from the industry within the policy department across our government ministry uh, support tourism such as uh, environment and parks, infrastructure, transportation, uh, all equally important of uh, an int integrated approach to growing tourism in the industry, uh, the tourism industry in our province. Um, in addition to that, uh, the increase in budget to uh, reflect uh, to the to the branch in, in uh, uh, supports the. Tourism Growth Innovation Fund, uh, providing additional uh, an additional $1 million in support to uh, economic growth by expanding, expanding the tourism offerings, offerings in the province, uh, with a focus on winter and shoulder season tourism development, as well as rural projects and Indigenous cultural experiences. Great, thank you. Um, I'm looking at uh, the budget line item for the Destination Development and Visitor Services. I'm mm -hmm. um, just wondering if you can tell us a bit more about the impact of that program on the tourism industry in Alberta. 
Thank you. Um, the increase will reflect, uh, it, it does reflect our commitment to improving uh, and increasing the programs and services that I mentioned before. Uh, the fund offers matching grants of up to $75,000 to the Tourism Growth Innovation Fund. Um, and it focuses on strengthening the collaboration amongst the tourism stakeholders. Um, and we will accept applications into two separate streams, destination development support and product development support. Um, in addition, the department has also extended the visitor-friendly uh, Alberta program to include a business-friendly component to this. Uh, it is being offered to communities that have previously completed the program and have local businesses that are interested in participating and further developing uh, their community's tourism appeal. Uh, the piloting of the program began in January of, uh, of this year and is expected to be made available uh, to other communities throughout, uh, throughout the year. The visitor services continues to be an important piece of the integrated approach that we're taking uh, to visitor services. Um, and uh, the fund encourages all the regional visitation that I spoke about, uh, as well as developing new and innovative ways across various platforms to better serve a, a diverse range of visitors in their communities um, as we anticipate growth in the tourism sector. Thank you. Um, the Stony Dakota Nation in my constituency has uh, expressed some interest in expanding their tourism offerings. And I'm just wondering if you can tell us if any of the funding dollars are being used to promote Indigenous tourism. Uh, absolutely. It's one of those uh, very things that we talked about earlier in terms of the framework, uh, implementing that 35,000 view um, into actual action items. So the conversation that we've had uh, is a reflection of our government's recogni recognition of Indigenous tourism, um, which is a segment uh, that needs further development for sure because travelers have demonstrated a growing interest in this, uh, uh, in this particular sector of tourism. They want authentic indigenous experiences and products to be, uh, to be made available. Um, so as, uh, because of that, the ministry is working with indigenous communities and industry partners to deliver support for entrepreneurs, artisans, and communities alike. Uh, we've uh, provided uh, funding to establish the first uh, Indigenous Tourism Association in Alberta, working with the Tourism Association of Canada um, to basically build capacity and create marketing opportunities, provide uh, support, um, and taking the model that was used in Indigenous uh, Tourism uh, BC, that was has been very successful. Um, the department is providing up to $190,000 in grant funding uh, to the towards the development of this uh, Indigenous Tourism Association that I mentioned, um, which includes, of course, a provincial developing of a, a provincial strategy, uh, developing tools and resources that can be used. Um, we're working very closely with the Ministry of Labor to support uh, uh, the development of resources and workshops, especially for entrepreneurs and businesses uh, that are interested in uh, promoting Indigenous tourism in our province um, and we're going to continue working with uh, the federal department's western economic development uh, sorry West, western economic diversification and indigenous northern affairs uh, to leverage additional funding opportunities now I've, i i don't know if you know this but uh, some of the things that we've heard about um, have been very encouraging some communities have seen um, an increased number of investors who are um, having direct conversations. Um, for us, of course, we're going to continue um, promoting uh, this and, and we're, we're planning on hosting uh, during the Stampede Investor Week, Investor Forum, um, additional conversations about how we can support and leverage this particular um, area of tourism. It's a very exciting one. And it's one that uh, promotes not just the, uh, the further um, expansion of knowledge within uh, Alberta about indigenous cultures, but also creates uh, jobs locally for these communities and creates uh, resiliency in the communities as well. Um, so to me, it's a very exciting opportunity and it's one that I think uh, most, uh, most communities are very uh, open and very excited about it. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to having those discussions. Great. Thank you, Minister. I'm excited to see that unfold too. Um, on a more general note, I'm just wondering if you can tell us how the ministry collects feedback from the tourism, uh, tourism industry uh, and making sure that they're being heard and that their expertise is being valued. Um, thank you. You know, we have um, a very good relationship and conversations with industry ongoing. Uh, certainly there are um, always challenges that present themselves, but um, we do understand that uh, um, through dialogue and conversation, we can address most of these issues on, on an ongoing basis. Uh, we have regional representatives from both the, the department uh, and Travel Alberta who work 
basically throughout the province. Um, the, the thing is, of course, that different regions in the province have different challenges. Uh, the areas that uh, perhaps are in your constituency um, need to see more growth um, in the shoulder season, right, and, and increased visitation during winter seasons, whereas other areas need development Basically, I mean, everybody needs uh, development year-round, but uh, they don't have as many challenges during the summer uh, in the mountain parks as they do in the rest of the province. So um, our conversations with stakeholders um, continue to be very collaborative and very uh, um, fruitful in achieving the goals that we set out for ourselves. And, and me, I, I, I do my best to come uh, to different events and, and have conversations ongoing. Um, it's been a very productive uh, uh, relationship and collaboration, and so I can hope that I will continue. I'm sure that I will continue going forward. Great. Thank you. Um, you mentioned um, the shoulder season and, and filling up hotels uh, outside of the summer. So I'm just wondering if you can tell us about how you're promoting year-round tourism, what kind of uh, initiatives are you undertaking, um, so that we're not just depending on those summer seasons in the mountain parks. Thank you. You know, the, the mountain parks are very iconic attractions for our province, and and, and quite frankly, um, everywhere that uh, you, you, you talk to people, they mention the Rockies as one feature about Canada, never mind just the province, but it's an iconic uh, for the yes. province, for the country as well. Um, but uh, we are at a capacity during the summer months, so our efforts in the mountain parks are concentrated on attracting visitors during the uh, shoulder and winter seasons. Uh, we're working very closely with the industry across the province to focus on diversification of product, uh, destination and seasonality, uh, to encourage visitation in seasons that need, uh, and to discover all the hidden gems the province has to offer, really. Um, it, we're doing a, a development of the Castle Region uh, Tourism Strategy as well, which will look at the region surrounding the new parks, including the municipal municipality of Prozenes Pass, uh, the municipality of uh, the district of Pincher Creek, uh, the village of uh, Cowley Town, uh, Pincher Creek, and the Bikani Nation. Um, with the thoughts and inputs from our stakeholders and indigenous people and uh, general public, of course, the proposed uh, Castle uh, Region Tourism Strategy will seek to identify actions and and provincial the provincial government may take to support the growth of tourism uh, and to become a much more significant contributor to the local economies uh, in the Castle Region. Um, we continue to provide, of course, ongoing support to uh, tourism development in other destinations such as the, uh, the Badlands in central Alberta, the Lakeland region in northeast towards um, having initiatives uh, that continue to help grow the tourism in these sectors, um, in these regions, sorry. Um, we're going to continue working with Travel Alberta to, uh, uh, and the tourism industry to encourage visitors to travel beyond the mountain, spark, the mountain parks to discover all of the hidden gems that we have in this province. And, and frankly, um, one of the uh, things that uh, Travel Alberta has is the uh, cooperative marketing. And so that's not restricted to uh, regions that already have an established uh, uh, tourism uh, sector. Um, it works with pretty pretty much any municipality that is looking to um, increase visitation. And so all these uh, different municipalities and opportunities are waiting for uh, action. And I'm very encouraged by what I've seen. I'm very hopeful that uh, we will continue working together with the industry um, to increase the number of visitations. And I, as you know, we've posted uh, very exciting numbers about the number of visitations last year. Um, and we're going to continue making sure that that uh, that grows in the years ahead. Thank you. Um, on page 72, line 6.2, um, there is support for the Alberta Sport Connection has decreased. Um, my constituency plays host to World Cup events and other sport-related tourist activities. Um, so I'm just wondering if you can speak to what's happening in that line item, please. Um, well, the, um, I can assure you that uh, uh, funding to the Alberta Sports Connection has remained uh, the same. <laughs> Hesitate to interrupt, but the uh, time allotted for the items of business has concluded.